Yeah. DJ Durrell. Yeah. Why we put this shit together, you know what I mean? Welcome back to LJ Reaction. Now, this was sent to one of the subscribers on my Twitter about this Phase 4 from Marvel. Since you guys know, I'm going to see Avengers and I'm huge into Marvel. So, he sent me this to talk about it, which I'm glad he would talk about. This is Phase 4. So, he sent this to me and said, this is not a official of the movies that are going to be listed coming out after Avengers Affinity War comes out a couple weeks. This is just a made up by a fan who's predicting what's going to come out. But let's just go over, go over what he has his list of movies for Phase 4. Let's go over it. So, Marvel's Cinematic Universe is about to reach the culmination of its first 10 years with Avengers Infinity War. Which is one more week. God of War this week and the next Thursday, baby. Avengers. Which will begin the final run of MCU Phase 3 Saga. Marvel Studios execs have already promised that the ending of Phase 3 will be a game changer that essentially reboots the MCU for a whole new saga which will begin to unfold in Phase 4. <sighs> Hopefully get something good. We'll, we'll find out what it's going to be though. While we don't know anything about what Phase 4 of the MCU, it's clear from the chart above, which we'll go over after we're done here, and so many others like it, that Fans already have a major set of wish list picks for which films they want to see in Phase 4. This particular chart, which is above, which I'll talk about in a minute, the films in the lineup, there are several picks that you expect and a few that absolutely wouldn't, but probable will be on board. The wish trend. Picks like Spider-Man 2, definitely. Doctor Strange 2. Definitely. Black Panther 2. Definitely. Thor 4. We don't know. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. We don't know. <clears throat> All what you expect next from the MCU franchise. But the maker of the chart, Seducive Thunderlord. Oh, Seductive Thunderlord. <laughs> Seductive Thunderlord actually does a pretty good job with the subtitles for most of the films that you expect to come out. A natural evolution of the Spider-Man Homecoming concept, but the Im oh God. Illuminati in the Doctor Strange sequel title, Black Panther sequel, yes. While I expect to see its concept, the reality of the situation is each of these subtitles are too big for Representative films. What? I need to read more of my Marvel comic books. <laughs> the fact that solo films would be used for bigger crossover events. Yes. Like the formation of Marvel Illuminati of the rise of Hydra secret empire is somewhat dubious of Captain America Civil War, which got with a big solo film that was actually a mini crossover event, which got all the, you know, people in there. You had Spider-Man in there. You had, uh, Ant-Man in there, a bunch of other crossover characters. So, anyways, this is go over his. Oh, well, I'll, let me touch the end part here. The end part here, which was very, very, very interesting. Okay, so as for the unexpected launch priorities of the list, the Marvel um, Cosmic Universe is expected to become a major branch of franchises. So, having uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, Thor, and Captain Marvel come back are all flashes. Okay, so. Let's go over this end part here, which was very, 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 very surprising, but it probably definitely will happen. Okay, Fantastic Floor, Black Widow, and Thunderbolts are all properties that fans have long wanted or expected to happen. Phase 4 will conclude with an Avengers movie that introduces the X-Men into the MCU universe, which would be icing on the cake, which I totally agree. It would be icing on the cake. So... Because we know, no, Disney does not own uh, X-Men. So, let's go over the list here that he has, which you guys can always comment down below and tell me about more of this stuff, which these titles here are very intriguing, which I'm like, what the freak? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, first, Spider-Man Academy, Doctor Strange Illuminati, Gone to the Galaxy Volume 3, Black Widow Movie, The Mighty Thor, 
Fantastic Four. Uh, the Wasp Escaping, which I already know about the Ant-Man movie. Uh, Black Panther, Secret Empire, Nova, Captain Marvel, Ant-Man vs. the Master of the Evil, Warlock, The Thunderbolts, which is obviously a Deadpool with his people. Um, And one more, one more, one more. Spider-Man and I can't see that one, but you guys will see it to the right. This is another Spider-Man movie. And then Avengers X. So, listen here. All I want to know is about this. Okay, we're going to find out in Avengers Infinity War. Who dies and who doesn't die? So, anyways, we know we know Chris... Pr- um, oh, what's it called? Not Chris Pratt. The guy who plays Thor and the guy who plays... Um, he's right in my face. I have his freaking Funko Pop swimming right in the face. Captain America. Okay, we know the guy who plays Thor and Captain America said that they didn't want to come back for um, another movie. Is that true or not, guys? Let me know down below. But if it's true... I mean, dude, what you're about to make from Avengers. I mean, come on. If they're going to throw you another movie, about 15 or 16 more million dollars, you're telling me you will not come back to do another movie? Come on, man. You all come back and do another movie. So, what my mindset is this. Hopefully, we have another good Spider-Man movie, which I like Spider-Man Homecoming. I know some people say that um, the kid who played Spider-Man in Homecoming, he wasn't the best Spider-Man, but he was damn well the best Spider-Man we've ever had in a very long time. Now, Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man. I like Spider-Man 1, 2, 3. I didn't care for but I like the kid who's playing Spider-Man. That's how Spider-Man translates to me in real life. It would be a kid who's, uh, you know, cracks jokes, wouldn't listen all the time, but he's Spider-Man. That's what intrigues me. Um, Black Panther come back for a second movie? <laughs> of course it will. It has to. Uh, Doctor Strange. Now, I'm going to give you guys some real truth. I have not watched Doctor Strange. I didn't wasn't a huge Doctor Strange fan, so I didn't care to watch it. Ant Man still have not watched Ant Man one, and I'm not gonna go watch Ant Man two. I don't care about Ant Man. Okay, face the facts, people. I'll give you my truths. I don't care about Ant Man, and I don't care about Doctor Strange. I'm into. I'll go watch it if I like it. Like I told you guys yesterday, um, Justice League. I didn't care to go watch it. The only reason I went to go watch it because Gal Gadot did a fantastic job. As Wonder Woman. That's why I went to go watch Justice League. If she wasn't playing... Um, she, if Gal Gadot didn't play Wonder Woman, and if I didn't like Wonder Woman, I would not go to watch Justice League. I would have watched it on HBO. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? So, Doctor Strange, don't care. Ant-Man, don't care. Spider-Man, more Spider-Man movies? Yes. Fantastic Four? I'm surprised they're remaking another one because I didn't like the recent one they made either, which didn't like it. Why did they make another one? Uh, the Thunderbolts, as long as you keep, um, damn it, what's his name? The guy's escaped my name. Freak. The guy who plays Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds. As long as you keep him as Deadpool and make another another movie with him and you keep it, I was like, you don't have to keep it rated R, but as long as you keep his humor in there, go right ahead. Um, Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow, great. Having finally having her own spinoff movie, great. Um, Captain Marvel. Now, rumor who is, rumor who is to play Captain Marvel? Her name escaped me too, but she's a very attractive lady, and if she can pull off half of what Gal Gadot did for Wonder Woman as a Captain Marvel movie, great. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy three. As long as you keep the original cast, Chris Pratt, uh, Batista, uh, Groot, and all them people, you keep them, great. So, I like this list here. And and Avengers X, introduced to X-Men. Can't wait for it. So, just give you guys a little heads up. Avengers is coming out next Thursday. Not this upcoming Thursday, but next Thursday. I'm going to go watch it uh, the day before. Because I'm not going to wait till the 27th. That's, we have to, have to do a freaking live reaction for the Greatest Royal Rumble on the 27th. So, I'll be going watching on the 26th with my friend. I will be doing a live on the way to the movies with you guys. And until the movie starts, a little live now break down what we hope to see. I know everybody's gonna go watch Avengers. Who's not going to? So we're doing a little mini drive to the movie theaters on the twenty sixth. So don't forget to like the video, guys. Comment down below and what do you think? Do you think this guy's gonna be accurate of what movies we're gonna see? Go ahead and comment down below in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Follow all the social media pages which are down below and catch you guys back with some more videos.